everybody, I'm Mary Lou. And I'm Dave. And, and we, we are Blue, Blue Collar, Collar Wine, Wine Review. Review. Uh, welcome to our inaugural episode. Um, we started, or I started drinking wine uh, really about 25 years ago. I was definitely a red wine drinker. I didn't like too many whites that I had tasted. Um, so when Dave and I got together several years ago, uh, we started branching out and looking and drinking at other wines and so there's quite a few whites out there today that, that I'm really um, partial to. And we did that through wine tastings. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Dave's also an excellent cook so we do a lot of wine pairings both red and white um, and that's really helped us develop um, a taste for what we like and we want to share that with you. I'm not so sure about excellent cook. But if, if you eat it and you think so, all right, that's great. Yeah. With all our right. video blog, uh, we've come up with a system that we've been using on a popular um, wine review, wine cellar type tracking uh, application. Um, and we're gonna use a star system. So uh, one to five stars on rating wines. Uh, that we like and we've enjoyed and hopefully we can give you some insight on wines that maybe you haven't tried or um, things that you might like to like to try um, based on our experiences. Uh, so our star system will be similar to um, or correlate with uh, a more popular industry uh, rating system, 100 point rating system. So if we were to say, hey, we've given it a 4.0 on stars or just a four star, then you're looking at probably a 90 on the more popular industry yep. 100 point uh, list. But we'll have that up on our, our website under ratings, uh, or ratings tab on our website uh, for you to uh, take a look at. And we're going to concentrate on wines that are under $30. So we don't want to concentrate on the higher priced wines except for special occasions. So it's going to be any wine that you can go out and purchase and not break the bank. And on holiday dinners where you might want to purchase something that's around 50 or under uh, that special uh, holiday dinner. Um, but like you said, uh, special occasion wines will be probably $100 or under, and you're probably thinking, I am never gonna spend um, that. But we've tried different wines, and um, we've tried higher end wines, um, and we'll talk about uh, on those special uh, episodes of special blogs for uh, holiday dinners and the uh, special occasion wines and why they might be so expensive and and things like that. But that doesn't mean you can't find a good wine under $30, because we've Correct. done it. Correct, correct, uh, quite frequently. Yes, we have. <laughs> Actually, so let's talk about a couple of them. You wanna go ahead and start? Sure, uh, this is a 2012 Himmelreich Riesling. It's out of Germany. Uh, this is one of the first white wines that I really, really enjoyed. Um, and this, like I said, is a 2012. We've also tried other vintages and it's a very consistent, consistent wine throughout the years. Um, there's a light nose of pear. It um, has a crisp flavor of apple and pineapple and a light citrus finish. It's good for summertime, especially because you want to drink it chilled. So whether you're eating or not, it's a good sipping wine. Um, but it also goes well with some lighter dishes like chicken, things like that. So you might be asking, since we talked about this first wine, uh, and it's a great Riesling. Um, I grew up, um, my, I was a military brat. Uh, we lived in Germany when I was younger, but my parents liked the Moselle uh, wines and the Rieslings and things like that. I leaped from Mitch uh, wines and things. But um, you might be saying, what in the world are you talking about? It's a grape. Why is it, you talking about pears, apples, uh, citrus? Sometimes the, the tenois, as they say, or the ground or the grapes, soil. the soil that the grapes, uh, the vines grow in, take on some of those uh, nuances. But so do grapes and the way they process them. Um, they don't add, in these instances, they don't add pears and apples and citrus and things in these particular wines, but it does come with some of those nuances because of our olfactory, our, our smelling and taste. 
So something that you could do would be, and it could be a little weird, but the best way is if you go shopping and you're in your produce section, is start smelling. Smelling the, the different fruits, <clears throat> doing stuff like that. We even did a wine tasting where they used flavored jelly beans mm -hmm. and then they gave you a wine to try and you were to see if you could figure out what was in it. Yeah. Vanilla, you could come up with vanilla, cherry, Blackberry. uh, blackberries, mm -hmm. things like that. So, grapefruit. <clears throat> grapefruit, which is your citrus, um, lemon. So, as strange as it might be, that's a good way to start other than doing wine tastings, going to uh, one of your local places that, <clears throat> excuse me, one of your local places that offer wine tasting. Mm -hmm. You know, you could smell your vanilla extract, mm -hmm. um, things like that, things, uh, spices that you have in your, in your cabinet when you bake, uh, cinnamon, yeah. uh, mocha, mm -hmm. which could be your baking cocoa or anything like that. So you get some of those nuances and those smells are the same smells. So it's kind of uh, where we're at. We're not wine snobs, but we like to taste the wines and, and see what's in them or see what, what kind of scents and flavors you get throughout the, the enjoyable aspect of drinking it, yep. I guess. We rated this wine four stars and it has an average price of $15. So you won't be disappointed. Yep. So the next one, and this is a white wine too, and we got to enjoy this. Actually, it was by chance. Um, we decided to go on a vacation together um, it was before we got married uh, to, uh, it was kind of a dream vacation, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. So we went to Napa Valley. Um, we went into San Francisco, had a great yeah. time there, drove up to Napa Valley, had a wonderful experience and time there visiting vineyards, and we got to go to Camus. Camus Vineyard, which was uh, something that uh, was necessarily the one of the first things on our list, but it was something that I definitely wanted to go. Yeah. And Mary Lou uh, agreed she'd like to go. To, and usually on the tastings that we went to, they would serve a Sauvignon Blanc. Mm -hmm. And so we just assumed that that's what they were serving. And they gave it to us in a, was it a cab? Uh, yeah, a cab glass. I think it was yep. a, a cab glass. And it was chilled and it tasted just like a Sauvignon Blanc. Mm -hmm. We thought, hey, it's pretty good. It's a Sauvignon Blanc. And then we came to find out that it was Mercelet. And it was a Chardonnay. And this Mercelet uh, is from the Santa Lucia Highlands. Uh, and it is the Mercelet 2013 Reserve. And uh, we really, really enjoyed that so much that it became a favorite and for yeah. the non-white drinker, non-white wine drinker, um, really enjoyed it. My favorite Chardonnay for sure. Yeah, yeah. It definitely, it's very good. The 2013 Mercelet has apples and peaches on the nose and peaches, honey, and butter on the palate, which is when you drink it, it's on the tongue and the back of the throat, and then hints of lemon and oak on the finish, which your finish will be um, how long it, the flavor and the tastes and nuances in your mouth last. Uh, we rated it five stars, which is the top. So you're looking anywhere from a nine, you know, on the industry scale, a 98 to 100 points. That's how we rate it. We, that's how much we enjoy it. It's not a real strong oaky Chardonnay that's really almost too much. It's really buttery. It's buttery, yeah. it's smooth, and it, uh, it, it drinks very well. Like I said, we rated it five stars, and the average price out in the market is around $28 a bottle. In some of our future video uh, blogs, we're gonna talk about the glasses and... How each glass affects what wine you're drinking. Um, so you'll have a much more enjoyable experience. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about vineyards. A little bit more about our trip to Napa. Sure, absolutely. Um, some product reviews in the near future, we hope. We do use a couple of different gadgets that we like that we've gotten uh, several years ago mm -hmm. um, that we love to use. Uh, when we're not wanting to drink a whole entire bottle. Right. Uh, we just want one glass. And we'll also talk about some food pairings. There you go, food pairings from some cook. I don't know another excellent cook. I don't know about that. Whatever. <laughs>
Thank you for uh, joining us on our inaugural video blog. We hope that you've enjoyed yourself and that you'll come back and watch future episodes. Thanks very much. We'll see you soon. See you soon. And remember, drink responsibly. Mm -hmm.